We're really sad that we can't keep the Leeds Assembly that you deserve, with your family and friends there to recognise your achievements in school. Hopefully what we've prepared will go some way to helping to overcome that disappointment. Okay. We've loved teaching this year group. You are a remarkably resilient, funny and hard-working bunch of children. We wish you all the very best for the future. Sorry to disturb you, but you look awfully familiar. Yes, you do too. Are you the person who invented teleportation? No, that's not me. Are you the person who figured out a way to make vegetables through science? Wrong again. Well, you definitely look familiar. Yes, you do too. What primary school did you go to? St. Joseph's in Redditch. Ah, that'll be where you recognise me from. Did you leave in 2020? Yes, I sure did. That was quite a year. Did you have Mr. Walker? He was the best teacher. No, I think you're mistaken. Mrs. Rowe was far better. Clearly suffering from dementia. Oh, no. Yes. 2020 was a year that will never be forgotten. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life
without a doubt the best football team we've had during my time at St Joseph's. When lockdown started they were top of the league, they were through to the quarterfinals of the cup and the only game they lost all year was the final of the LSE Cup which was on penalties. I've got absolutely no doubt in my mind that this group of lads would have brought back St Joseph's first piece of silverware in quite a few years. Now because of this, the boys who played for the football team and represented us fantastically really deserve some recognition so a really really big well done lads.
So that's it. St. Joseph's is done. Reception to year six. Think of all you've learned and done. All those wonderful new tricks. You probably won't remember starting, but I bet your parents will. Seeing their tiny ones go off, I bet they felt quite ill. Phonics and carpet time, the sand and water too, running about like crazy, painting your shoes bright blue. Year one is trickier, you have to sit on chairs. Maths, geography and history. Put your South America on the map. To be honest, it's still a mystery. Moving over to the big school, I bet you were terrified, but after a couple of weeks, I bet you've forgotten about the other side. All the other children seem so large, towering up to the sky. We're so little in comparison. I hope they don't make us cry. And so you made your way through years three, four and five, entering the dreaded year six. Will we make it out alive? Mr. Waldron as our teacher. Oh, he's that nutter who rides a bike. You can always see him coming. I wonder what he's like. Year six was quite a year. There was so much to get done. Relative clauses, algebra, brackets. Will there be any time for fun? We were ploughing through the work. I was amazed by your persistence, but unknown to all of us, something was lurking in the distance. COVID-19 came to Europe. People started to die. The decision was made to close schools. We had to say goodbye. And so lockdown started and all the world stood still. Everything closed. We stayed at home. We waved from our windowsill. We clapped on Thursdays from our doors. We cheered for the strong and brave for those who risked their lives so others could be saved. Home learning started, to school you could not go. You really missed your friends, maybe even me and Mrs Rowe. You're the first year six in many a year not to do the sats in May. Some of you would have been happy, whilst others were in dismay. You didn't get the chance to show off all you know, but that learning isn't going anywhere. It will help you continue to grow. We welcome you back in June, you were placed in a new bubble. How would things be after so long apart? Would you all be lots of trouble? I need not have worried. You returned bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Covid tried to crush our spirits. Covid completely failed. We had water fights, read books, stayed outside for longer. Your maturity was remarkable. Your resilience never stronger. And that brings us to the present day, the end of the line. You wonderful group of young adults are no longer mine. Advice for the future, while well, you reap just what you sow. So cast off your shackles, go out, learn and grow. You know more than you think, you're stronger than you feel. Stick by one another, these friendships are real. So change the world, go out into the community. Be proud to say, I seize the day, I use this opportunity. Embrace your uniqueness, there's no one quite like you. But remember those who struggle, you'll help each other through. You don't know what the future holds, all the different things, but stay true to yourself and unfurl those beautiful wings. Our paths split from here and in. In your life, I no longer feature, but no matter what the future holds, I'm proud to have been your teacher. We've come a long way, but we're not too sure where we've been. We've had success, we've had good times, but remember this. So high, I don't have to see me. Bring me the power.
Someone else's dream 